Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to install the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL on Windows 11. Starting with Windows 11, Microsoft is simplifying the installation process to reduce the steps to only one command that enables the WSL components, virtual machine platform, and it prompts you to restart. The process even install all the components to run Linux GUI apps on your device. Okay, here is how to install WSL on Windows 11. First, open command prompt as an administrator. Then, type the following command WSL dash dash install. And that command will install everything that you need to run WSL on Windows 11 including Linux GUI apps. And because we didn't specify any other options, by default, it is also going to install the Ubuntu Linux distribution on the platform. Okay, so the installation has completed. And now to apply everything, we need to restart the computer. And we'll do that going to start and then hit the restart button after signing in into windows 11 it might take a while but a new screen will pop up so you can continue setting up the distro in this case ubuntu so we're just going to set up the username and then we're going to set up a password. And that's it, that's how you install WSL on Windows 11 with a single command. We can confirm the version of WSL that we're running by opening control panel and then running this command, WSL list verbose. And as you can see, we have Ubuntu, which is running, and it's version 2. Now, if you wanted to install a different distribution instead of Ubuntu, you will use the same command, but with a different option. First, you will open command prompt as an administrator, and then you will type the WSL list online command and that will tell you all the available distributions that you can download using the install command then you will simply type wsl install dash d and the name of the distro let's say that we wanted to install debian so we just type debian once you type the command just press enter And in this particular case, because we already have the WSL components already installed, it's going to go ahead and install the new distro. But if you didn't have the WSL already installed on Windows 11, it will pull down all the components required to run this particular distribution. Then it will ask you to restart, and then the same process will continue after the reboot. What I mean by that is that the screen is going to pop up so you can continue setting up the distribution. And as you can see, now we also set up the Debian distribution on Windows 11. From time to time, there's going to be updates for the Windows system for Linux platform. And to check and install updates, you will use this command wsl update that's all there is to it just press enter and this command will check for updates and download any package available in this case there was an update available for the kernel so it downloaded it and updated it and in order to start using it we need to type the wsl 
shut down command and that will shut down all the um, distributions of Linux and then you should simply restart and, you, and, and the platform will start using the new kernel. During the setup process of WSL, uh, the command also install all the components required to run Linux GUI applications on Windows 11. So in order to install a GUI application, you will simply open the start menu and open the distribution. And now you will simply follow the same steps as installing an application on a Linux machine. Uh, for example, to install a simple application, we're just going to type sudo app get update, which is the first command. Once the updates are ready, we're just going to type the command to install an application. So for example, let's type sudo app get install. And in this particular case, we're just going to install the gedit text editor. And then this is an optional option, but you can type the y, the y command to suppress many prompts. And then you just press enter. Depending on the application, this could take a while. Once installation is complete, you can start the application by typing the name of the application, or the application should also register onto the start menu. As you can see, let's see if we I mean, these are components, but that's not the application. Let's just look for, let's look for the distro. And here it is. And just like that, now we're running a Linux GUI application inside of Windows 11. Now, let me just show you really quick that if I type the app name and then I press enter, that also opens the application and all the interface and everything looks like if it was running on a Linux machine. And that's basically it. That's how you install WSL on Windows 11, how you can choose to install a different distro, how to update the platform when updates are required. And we also look into the steps to install and run a Linux GUI application on Windows. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.